All right, welcome. We have just um, finished our branding, so our new look in Carly with Carly Calamares Config, ETC Calamares Branding. So we have a default uh, branding. The look will be this one. We still need to change a lot of things and the modules have not been tackled yet. Now, I was making the video about the modules and it struck me, no, I'm going to do it differently. We're going to make a package build first and then analyze what we're missing and then make a, a configurations for our modules. That thing, I think that's more educational. It's longer, but it's more to learn. So we have something to push to the internet. Let's do that. So uh, first commit, I guess. And up, there we go. It's all online. So control G. Oh yeah, GitHub. So that's the first thing. This is the configuration. It's all online and we'll change it when we need it. Now, the idea is that you are going to make a package build. So a Carly package build has to be created for Carly Calamares config. That's the next thing. How can we do that as fast as we can humanly be possible, right? So do we have anything already? No, we do not have anything. So if you go to GitHub, and then Arch Linux, enter. Lots of people have package builds. What did I do? I read them all. And by reading the code, you learn the code. So Arch Linux package build. Here is our Arch Linux Cal. Arco Calamares configuration. All right. Here it is, package build. So you can have this code, reuse this code to have it uh, and some text, this is not interesting, oh, wait, not important. So this is the main thing, the package build. Go to the raw, control A, control C, and do your thing with it. Reuse, that's Linux, reuse. So create folder, uh, Carly, biggest container, smaller container, smallest container. That's how we name these things, right? I'm not gonna use um, Git behind it. Not on this one. So, Kari Kalamares, Eric. Kalamares. Everything should be correct. Kari Kalamares. Comfy. Fine. I have a document. And it is this one. Now, I would appreciate if you did not call it Arco or Arcolex. That's all I'm asking. Carly Calamares Config. So I told you I'm not gonna call it dot, uh, this minus git, which uh, makes it easier for us. And we'll have no package name because the difference, let's go back. The difference between these two variables is that this one doesn't have git. That's it. So I'm gonna make it easy for myself and forget about all that and just say Carly. But once you choose a way of naming convention, you should stick with it, right? So this is the time for me to say no, no git. So the package name is Carly Calamares Config. You do sudo pacman minus s Carly Calamares Config. It's installed. The destination name, where should it go to? That's correct. It should go to etc Calamares. Um, but we'll, we'll check, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. We are working for three and then one or so. Calamares for Carly. Any, okay. Arco Linux, forget about it. It's Arco Linux ISO, really. Safe. It's Arco Linux ISO. This guy. This is where we'll point it to. Let's put you here. And then. We need Git, sure, uh, Git is always installed, no problem. It will not conflict at this point with anything from Arco at all. So we can just leave it like that. 
provides this package that's good git me from github arc linux iso on the other hand on the other hand here it says github.com arc linux iso get me the package name if i do this away and then we get indeed github.com arc linux iso slash carly calamars config all right so the url is going to be this one let's see i don't make any typos here so this should be url like that and no if we should use that one and this one can go then does it have a slash it does not have a slash behind so we put a slash here and we're telling it this one is replaced with that one we add a slash to it and we add the package name to it so not underscore package name but the variable is called package name we skip this we do not use install readme <clears throat> not going to use that anymore and then we're going to make a directory a license directory and all that we can skip the licensing licensing as well if we don't want that and then make the package there again underscore destination name oh yeah destination name is with an underscore license can be gone here as well so we can keep that one but package name is never with an underscore we decided not to do that anymore so reusing of code is not always working and you'll see that it's not but that's the point then we figure it out why it's not and that's also important be independent we're going to make the package and already we have a problem uh, home Eric is not a clone of etc so it's pointing to github arco linux iso carly calamares config carly calamares config i think we have a little bit too much this is the url that we need to have and you see we have it twice we have carly calamares config carly calamares config okay got it so we need to have one less it's uh, either this one or that one but it's it's too much so let's do that one away save run what do we have now now we have two slashes here okay two slashes don't like two slashes or one slash is okay then make package again now we are pointing to Arconex iso carly calamares config let's see now we should be better already that is strange is not a clone of let me figure this out and come back all right what we've uh, forgotten is this guy right here an underscore package name let's look for the word package name now so no error no other errors are hidden away package name all package name without underscore because that's the point we deleted something here all right super another problem aborting might be something else making packages retrieving sources error is not a clone of github.com our colleagues iso carly calamares config git aborting uh, do we need the git thing? I don't think it's an issue with the git thing, but let's try. Damn, it was the issue. All right, so I've learned, some, learned something here without the git. Now we're going to go for the next things, right? So the download has been is successful. That's something. So you see the source file, Carly Calamara's config. So that's the package name. It ends up in this. So that one. 
Then we get the ETC and we get the calamars and we get the branding as great, as great, as great. Now we need to get that content. This folder needs to go to that uh, package here. And what's happening? Nothing, nothing is there. Okay, so we wanna copy everything from the source directory, from the package name, and here it goes wrong. Here it is, it's wrong. Now there are other ways to do, I was just thinking, should we change and have a look at a different way of um, copy pasting this over, because that's possible too. The destination name, <coughs> um, well, it depends what to do. I'm gonna go for the alternative way, so um, I'll be right back. Right, I've been trying out some um, well, lines, you can do all kinds of things as long as it works. That's uh, the point. That's why it's fun also to make package builds. There are many ways, uh, roads to Rome, and that applies also to this uh, package build. So, instead of make directory, I've made a install dm755 package directory etc, which is going to lead to a creation of this particular folder. And then I'm gonna say to the system, if you have the source, if you go to the source directory, that's this one, and go inside the package name, that's that one, and you find the DC folder, that's that one, then anything that's inside, which is all that, you are gonna copy paste that over to the package there, which is this one, actually this one, that's the two of them, is the package there, and I'm gonna say in there, in the ETC, you put the rest, so Calamar is in here, Branding is here, default is here, everything is in here. The modules are in here and the settings are in here. So that's cool. This should do the trick. The difference, this is this line. So this line can go. Make directory, works as well. And here we're copy pasting, a little bit different with uh, hashtags here with these, uh, I don't know how it's called in English, this thing, right? So. Um, more or less the same source directory package name and here it's pointed to the calamaris so that's that's my used to be my is my uh, article linux thing so it's a little bit different so you still have to figure out how you should write your package build so control s that's saved what can we do why do i use destination names um, we can change this guy the etc and say this is the destination name, right? So this particular thing, if we have a variable, where shall I type it here? So this one is a underscore destination name. That's our variable, the content of this. Well, uh, this is the content of this, and I can call it with that. So control X, etc. This is exactly the same thing. So I can change it here, and this is exactly the same thing. I change it here. Save, shouldn't do any, shouldn't be any change, right? Let's have a look. Everything looks the same. Branding is here, default is here. The modules are here, unpack, unpack conf. It's all here. Okay, so we have now a template for the coming packages we put in our url which is always going to be the same we don't have to change that we have the name we'll change that the destination name will have to change as well probably we're going to have more destinations in the, in the future let's make a template right so one two and three if it gets complex, you want to write something to ETC and something to user and something to user share applications and maybe something else as well. I'm gonna take four, then we're covered. This will be our template. You'll see it will spare us a lot of time in reasoning how did we, how should we build a package build, right? But of course, destination one is ETC, so we should um, say one everywhere. Maybe now I was thinking we should we could get our license key back in, but let's keep it at this here. 
So again, destination name, destination name, package name. Nothing should have changed, right? So I'm building it again. Looks good. And the modules are present. Looks good. So basically our package is, is ready. This is the package that we have. We at some point in time we have set our, our make configuration there in etc to zst. Maybe let's quick have a look. Because I what is the name again, right? Make make package conf. That's it. Make package conf all the way down. Make sure you are working with zst. Alright, so then you the end result is then zst. So this is the package I need. So copy cut here and going to put it on the repo, not the Arclinks repo, the Carly repo x64 control V. This is our Carly Calamaris config. Okay. Let's boot, well not boot, let's put it online. Boot it online, yeah. Adding Calamaris config. There we go. That's online. Now, it's, well, it's important that it's online, but it's more important even that the uh, name here is added to our package list. Control C. We don't need all the numbers, but we do need the name. And the name goes in the packages files all the way down next to calamaris so this is needed so the, the two of them make a whole one for the application and one for the configuration and now we can leave uh, leave off or stay off from the calamaris application and always change the config in the config and try out stuff with different configs and see what happens if you tweak this and tweak that my advice just one thing add just one thing that's why we are taking such baby steps small things small steps and then Figure out after a month, okay, we can change this, we can change that, tweak this, tweak that. But it's uh, a lot of uh, testing, 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 a lot of time that goes into building ISOs and test it out. What does this variable do to our system? So basically, I think our next video is going to be, let's test it out so we can get into the modules part, see what we have now and uh, maybe change again a little bit the look and then take a look at the modules. I have not put everything online. My guess is that this is online, but well, it shouldn't be guessing, right? I often type test push and when indeed there is some small thing like a type or something, it's online. Whoops. Ah, yeah. Okay, got it. Um, that's a problem. So he says there's another. Is it gone? It's gone. It is. If you just go back in the video, it says there is already a git in here, and it's true. There is already a git in here. This is a git, and you get an alarm. So then you would say, "Oh, I forgot something. I forgot to delete this thing." Right? That's it. Delete it because all these things should just be package builds. Just one file, nothing more. Basically, sometimes we add some communication, so the install file, but basically it should be just very, very empty. Everything looks normal. Now we can push it to the internet. No yellow errors anymore. So edit Carly Calamaris config. What will this do to our system if we boot it up? That's the question. That's the next video.